Good evening and welcome to the Royal Opera House, both to our audience here in the Claw Studio and to everyone watching on Facebook Live. We have a very exciting evening ahead of us. Now, you just saw a sneak peek of some of the beautiful choreography from the Royal Ballet's brand new production of Swan Lake. Now, set to Tchaikovsky's magnificent score, Swan Lake has been a part of the Royal Ballet's repertoire since 1934. But right now, the company are putting the finishing touches on its first new production for 30 years. Now, taking on that task is choreographer Liam Scarlett and designer John McFarlane. Let's take a look. <laughs> Lake will be on stage at the Royal Opera House from the 17th of May and you can see it live at cinemas worldwide on the 1st of June. You should also check out the website because we have screens around the UK and you can find out those locations and also book tickets there on the website. Now we've got so much to come tonight. We've already seen Vadim and Marianella rehearsing a little bit. They'll be back for more. I'll talk to Liam and John McFarlane about how they've reimagined this production and dancers of the Royal Ballet Tierney Heap, Benjamin Ellis, Teo Dubreo, David Donnelly and Thomas Mock will rehearse the Spanish dance and we really want to hear from you tonight so please get in touch with us on Facebook and I might be able to read out some of those comments a little bit later on. Now let's introduce the man himself, choreographer Liam Scarlett. <laughs> Liam, I mean, what an honour to be creating this production, but I, I mean, a huge task. How is it going so far? Um, it's, it's getting there. Yeah. <laughs> um, we've got a little bit over a week to go, and for something that has had so many years of planning, it's, it's um, kind of unimaginable that we're actually at this stage where everything's coming together. We were on stage for the first time yesterday, sets, costumes, lights, everything is slowly kind of, you know, working its way toward that, that final goal. And as you just saw, you know, the, the dancers are already in top shape as long as they don't peak too soon. <laughs> no, already <laughs> looking amazing. Now, you're going to be rehearsing a little bit more with Vadim yes. and Marinella. What are we going to see and where does it come in the ballet? Um, so what you just saw was the uh, act four part of it. So it's really sitting at the end of the ballet and something that I've added uh, myself. Um, so it's that, that moment where Siegfried has sworn eternal love to Odile and has been tricked by von Rothbart and it has literally broken Odette, both her heart and the curse that she's under will, um, she's doomed to remain a swan forever. So it's really a poignant moment within this kind of very tragic fairy tale um, mm -hmm. and just a really heartbreaking moment. Right. And joining you for this rehearsal is Kristen McGarrity. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about her role and how she's helping in within this production? Yes. Uh, so first of all, I don't think I would have been able to do any of this without Kristen. Um, so she has assisted me on basically everything, uh, production-wise and emotionally. Um, <laughs> she'll agree to that. Um, but Kristen and I have known each other from school. Uh, so we've known each other since we were like nine years old, I think. Um, so there's definitely that sense of, you know, a real friendship as well as a very healthy working relationship. And she's not afraid to tell me in this studio if something looks stupid. Which is so important, um, ex isn't Exactly, it? Yeah. and especially yeah. when, when you have time restraints, um, yeah. you know, especially in a big opera house where it's such a fast-paced turnaround to get a new production on. Um, it's great to be able to look at her when I've choreographed something in the studio and she'll give me one look and I know that I need to change it immediately. Um, no, it's amazing. Well, I'll let you get on with it. And also on piano is Philip Cornfield. Oh, where you go. Okay. So that was rather good. <laughs> you have to leave me something to correct. <laughs> um, so, as I was saying, that this is, this is kind of the moment um, Odette has rushed back from the palace having seen through the window that Siegfried has been tricked and that he's sworn eternal love to Odile, or the Black Swan. Um, from this, uh, her curse is basically doomed uh, for all eternity that she now remains a swan. Uh, if there was ever one chance, it was that someone who had never loved before would swear marriage and eternal 
an eternal vow to her forever. And she came this close with Siegfried. And uh, I don't think there's any doubt that he, he truly loved her. Um, and it was Rothbart's um, trickery that really kind of set everything aflame. So Odette, in this part of death, she struggles with the fact that she knows Siegfried loves her. And she understands that he was tricked, but still she is heartbroken. And nothing can undo this wrong that has happened. Um, as within many fairy tales or folklore, mythological stories, there is a consequence and a price to pay for an action, which is why fairy tales and why folklore came about. They teach us morals, and there's always a metaphor to it. So no matter how hard she tries and no matter how hard Siegfried says he's sorry, this is not going to change the fact it's not real life. It is fantasy and magic, um, which is one of the things that I wanted to encompass with this production, that it is a beautiful fairy tale folklore story full of majestic wonder. So let's go from the beginning. So Nelly, you're down. And this really mimics the beginning of the act two part of Dare. I think for Siegfried, he's, he's desperately thinking of something to do. And he thinks of your first meeting that you had. And he think, he's thinking, if I can recapture that moment when she looked at me for the first time and her heart was a flutter, then maybe it will happen again. And so Nella, when you look at him, you need to look directly into his eyes and have one second where your heart does this and yet your head does no. So the, your, your feathers, they, they prickle and then they just ripple down. And you know, the, the swans, when they, when they sleep, they hide themselves under their wings and, they, and it's for protection or for delicacy. And you just want to be left alone just by yourself because you know that for the rest of eternity, this is what you're gonna be like, okay? So let's just um, do the beginning. Vadim, these steps, the boom. It should be like you're treading on eggshells that she's, she's delicate and she's broken and you're trying to collect up the pieces and slowly put them back together. So th this to her arm should be the most delicate thing you've ever, ever touched. Okay, from the beginning, thank you. And... Now really look at him. And again, try harder a little bit this time, Vadim. So you, you gotta up. Now effort. Yes. Draw up that leg. And right into his eyes again. Stop that. Good, 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 good. Nice. Yeah. It's, it's, it makes such a difference. It's, it's, they're very, very simple steps. But when you add this, this story on top, I think sometimes the, what happens with the classic classics is we forget they're telling a story. These classics came around and they were telling a story that an audience had never seen before in a way that an audience had never seen before. And it was revolutionary. You know, back then in, in 1895, when audiences first saw the Petipa Ivanov production, and it was, it, was, it was unbelievable, you know, that this, this collaboration had happened in Russia and it was phenomenal. And there's still a huge relevance for this being able to be told today. Mm -hmm. Vadim, let her, after the rocks, Nella, surrender yourself that you know he's gonna catch you because he loves you. So that there's, there's a sense of, again, that if, you're, if your head and everything logical is telling you to go over there, that your body goes, catch me. Yeah, I will catch you. <laughs> 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 so that as, as she comes this way for this fall, that you want to have a moment of, yeah. And then this should be heavy, that you're trying to look at her, look at her, look at her. There, then as she goes away, and she's following the swans, that, Vadim, there has to be, there's a, a sense of remorse and guilt so that you look before you stop her, yeah? The, 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 there's guilt and you've been made a complete fool of, and it's, it's how could you have been tricked? Like, how could you have even perceived that someone else would be the, the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? Yeah, just show me that fall again. Really, really give in to her. Yeah. I would just let her go for a bit. 
<laughs> Not for too long. <laughs> the chia. That's better. That's it. So there's a breath. Nice. Good. Good, 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 good. Right. Can we go to here? Chiyum. Ba-da-dum. Ba-da-dum. To these ones. Um, Phil, the pirouettes. Chiyum. Ba-da-dum. Where we go back to the repeat. Da-da-dum. Bob, yes. Uh, these ones. Yes. These Lovely. Ones. Just a tiny lead in. And again, the look at him. And then away. Yeah, with the most gorgeously turned out leg, which I know you have. <laughs> and then really that let him turn you. He's, he's trying to turn you to face him, and you're, you're resisting against it a fraction. Yeah? Tiny lead in. Thank you. A little breath. <gasps> now, easy. Yes, pressure. Again. Good. Just stop there. Nice, nice, nice. So, Vadim, when when you say sorry, be careful the arms don't go up. They want to go to her. If you if you go up, that this looks um, kind of celebratory in a way. That from here, that you want to go from your heart and you want to give it to her and say in a very vulnerable way that everything that I have, I will offer you because I'm so sorry. So that as you walk towards her, that you're going to do, yeah, that you are completely subservient. And then the fact that she doesn't respond, that she hasn't done anything, makes you go, why? OK? And now that when he would um, just do that kneel for me, so that as, as he kneels, that a little, yeah, and, and, and look at him, that you know he's sorry, but hearing the words sorry, it makes it even worse. Like, for him to just run off and leave you forever, it would be nicer because you could start getting over him, yeah? Then, then from this moment, bury back so that here and have a second of hesitation before you go, yeah? <laughs> Let's go from the same place again. Vadim, just a tiny bit, Nella, just take that attitude for me. Uh, one? Uh, that one. Have a, have a little bit more of this, just so that we get a bit of romance, because then as you go back, you're there. Mm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Once again, thank you, Phil. Mm. Now, like, a breath. Yes. Use this passe like your heart stops. That's it. A little steadier. Yeah. Say sorry. A little boy back. Carrying on. That's it, that's it, that's it. <laughs> Good. Make sure as, as you run, almost, it's again, it's like you want to run to him, but just at the last second, no. Yep. So I don't have to open You don't have the, the yeah. Half of you wants him, half of you doesn't. Okay. Pick which half. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So just, just do that catch. Mm -hmm. Yep. Let's do five, six, seven, eight into the, into the odd four. Into jump, boom, 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 and five, six. Seven, Sutanu. Catcher. Okay, good. Nice. Look at her. Look at her. She's gorgeous. <laughs> but look at her all the time, yeah? Uh, Nella, when he stops you, there's, there's a moment where it's like someone has said your name and it's the last person that you want to see. That you, that, yeah, there's a, relux, a reluctance to turn around. Okay. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Then, uh, Vadim, from, can we go from the odd four? Yeah. I might mess this up, so sorry. Sorry. And...
go. <laughs> Do you see what I mean? That every, everything is to her. That, yep. It's, it's like you're trying to do this and all she's doing is looking away so that you, you're trying to do that. Yep. Same thing again. Thank you. From that odd four. But even here, that please don't go, please don't go, please don't go. Once again. Thank you. And that's it. Yes. Ba, 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 yeah. That's it. Good. Then with this, there should be a moment of ja, ba, ba, ba. I mean, it's, it's the most beautiful music, mm. I think. And I've reinstated this piece of music. Um, it was in the original 1877 production and then was taken out by Drigo after Tchaikovsky's death. Um, and I've decided to put it back because I think it is pure poetry of an evocation of pulling, longing, unrequited love, and ultimately unfulfilled love from these two, yeah? So on this, have a second of tia, ba, before you go, yeah? Just a little lead into where we got to, into the drape, just five, six, seven, eight, and six. Up. Now, Nella, all the way to me. All the way to me. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Silent art form. <laughs> That's it. That really, and again, have that, have that thing of where, you know, you've, you've already said to the swans that there's no point in living anymore. Yeah, so that... If you have that feeling, the sense of abandonment when you just run and you could just let yourself fall, you know he's going to catch you. Like, first of all, because, because I've told him to. <laughs> but second of all, because, because he loves you and he's, he's showing you that he'd do absolutely anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Just from down here again, still a little bit more, just from the zigzag diagonal, just a tiny lead in. I'm going to do my best one, so that from... <laughs> I'll find another part then. <laughs> but then there needs to be much more of a struggle, so that Vadim, even from... Just once again, I'm going to... I'll stick to this role. <laughs> no. Just the beginning, in terms of... <laughs> yeah, much more. <clears throat> so much more abandonment. Nella, <laughs> once again. But it's that initial that I want to see your fingertips do this just so the, the electricity between you is palpable as you leave, which is why you go to her. Because kinetically, you're meant to be together. Same again. And. Yes. Now look at him. All the way down. Good, good. You know you're changing my steps. Do you know you're changing my steps? Oh, no, <laughs> So from here, uh, attitude. Uh -huh. Think about doing one, two, and then three, four. Just a tiny, Wait. like, Wait. just so that you look at him, and then there's that, there's that pain that's in there. Mm -hmm. And then getting up, you want to be here. So when I want so, to go from so the bunch. from down, yeah. we're going to whip up, and we're going to go to there. Oh. Yeah. And then you're going to wrap his arm in. Oh, yeah. So this one, that this way. time is me. Yes. 
so that from here, there's a, there's a moment of reaching, and then see his hand and do this. Okay. Yeah? Sorry. That's all right. <laughs> I forgive you for most Sorry. things. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just a little lead into that, um, that poncho. Dom, bom, bom. Ready. Tiny lead in, and six. Really sharp. One. And one. So, Nella, here, what you're, you're stepping up and you're saying, but you swore, but not to me, yeah? And there's, as you say swear, there's, that's, there's a sense of hope because at one point you did do this to him and, and he, he almost went to do it, yeah? And in a second, just relive the moment or what life might have been like if it had been you that he swore to and then turn back to him. And make sure you look at him with your eyes. And Vadim, that, that must be the most heartbreaking thing to hear. Yep. And now I keep this. And Vadim, you want to go up to her as if to say, no, it never happened. Like, I didn't mean it, or, yeah? Yeah. It's all too much for a Thursday evening, isn't it? Um, Dion, just on the promenade on the change of music. Thank you. So from here. so that you let her go. I mean, that if you can't look into her eyes because you're so wracked with guilt and remorse, then try and, try and bring her into you, yeah? Let's just go from the same place up until the end. Now listen to what she's saying. Try and undo it. And now the biggest sorry you can muster. Thank you very much, guys. I'm so sorry to interrupt, but we've got lots to see. We could watch you all night. But <laughs> I'm afraid that's all we've got time for this section. Would you mind coming over and we can have a little, a little chat? Oh, we've got a little mic to share. I mean, you both look so incredible and you've been thrilling us in rehearsals. What, you know, you're, you're both opening night. You've got just over a week to go. What's, what's the process now? What happens in this next week? Uh, well, as uh, Liam was saying, I think 
I think for us. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, as Liam was saying, uh, we hit the stage already. Mm -hmm. So it's um, it's nearly done now. It's literally a few days to go. I mean, we did the first call yesterday, and I guess we have now like maybe the pre-general yeah. and then opening night next Thursday. And is that excitement? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, it's yeah. amazing. Uh, opening night of Swan Lake is always a huge responsibility and yeah. you know you feel the bus around the house but obviously this time around that bus is even bigger mm. um, and not just from the dancers obviously from Leanne from the whole company it's just it's all special, the departments yes. yeah like the costume yeah. department the wigs department I mean it's a massive massive uh, day that we have ahead of us, but yeah. a very special one, yeah. a very, very special one. Good. Now, Vadim, you debuted as Siegfried with EMB in 2010, and then you did our previous production. Now this, how is it revisiting the role? Well, it, it's, Swan Lake is, I think I can say that it's my favorite ballet now. Okay. And uh, I just realized no matter how tired I would be, if I would rehearse seven hours or something, if I go, in rehearsal studio, and uh, I hear the music. I start doing the steps. It's like all the pain or the tiredness, it goes away. It you... Because Vadim had a show of Manon on the yes, evening, and yeah, the following course, day yeah. it was your full call. Yeah. And I'm sure at the beginning you said, you know, you're going to mark mm. it well. It, it like amazing. he said, it wasn't it? <laughs> amazing. <laughs> there were gasps yeah. from the company. It was <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> incredible. It, it, feel, it feels amazing when uh, choreography and the music Com combines together and I thought that's the best you can have but then the third thing is when you have beautiful ballerina oh, well. oh. so <laughs> three, <laughs> three things <laughs> yeah, so no matter how tired you are you just th th this ballet just it's amazing yeah. wow. and with Liam we just we worked a uh, few hours ago on a soul as well and he he's so clear with everything, with the story, mm -hmm. we're having such a good time, and it's it's very clear for me. And uh, when you know, when you're not doing just the steps, but you know why you're doing, it. even okay, you know the story, but it's still there is so many little things in between mm -hmm. which you can feed the story. And Liam explains everything, which makes even more enjoyable to dance this ballet. Mm. Yeah. That's why we call him Vadrinia. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Now, Nella, you celebrated your 20th year with the company this season. Congratulations, yeah. to Nella. <laughs> and so, during that time in your career, you've done Swan Lake many times. Is it a special ballet for you? Yeah, I, Swan Lake is definitely probably one of the ballets that I've done the most. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I started quite young doing it, but also I usually used to pick up like extra shows, right? <laughs> so it feels, um, and it always, as Vadim was saying, I mean, it is truly special. Uh, now, also was the first ballet I saw when I was a kid. Wow. My mom took me to the Teatro Colón and I saw the production there. Um, so for me, it's kind of surreal and incredibly special to suddenly be here all these years later yeah. doing the opening night of a new production with the Royal Ballet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's massive. So, and as Vadim was, I mean, just, it, yeah. we, yeah, it's special. Well, we can't wait for that opening night. Thank you so much for talking to us. You've had such a long day. You, off you go. Thank you, Marinella and Vadim. Thank you. Thank you. Now, a little bit later, we'll be seeing dancers of the Royal Ballet rehearse the Spanish dance. But next up, we're going to talk to Liam Scarlett and John McFarlane about how they've reimagined this amazing ballet. John and Liam.